guys, we all start somewhere as gamers, and for me, this is where it all started. This is the first game I ever played. It is Flimbo's Crest. And this, guys, is for the Commodore 64, also on the Amiga, Amstrad, CPC, and the Atari ST, and was released in 1990. And, um, yeah, this is one of the very first games, if not the first, I'm pretty sure it might be the first game I ever played in my life. Um, some people don't class it as a good game, but for me, because of the nostalgia, it started me on my gaming journey. For me, it's always going to be in my top 10. Well, maybe not a top 10, but it's always going to be up there, you know. So this was um, published by System Free, which were later named as Studio Free. Yes, I'm reading all this on Wikipedia as we go along. And the story of this, guys, the storyline. The mad scientist Franz Dandruff has created a machine that draws the life energy from its victim for him, first, first extending his life infinitely. Dandruff kidnaps Purdy, beauty queen of Dewdropland. What a lovely name that is, Dewdropland, to provide its energy. Her boyfriend, Flimbo, sets out to save her. So guys, this game is a side-scrolling game um, set out across seven levels. The aim of the game is to go out and hunt monsters, defeat them, to get a magic scroll. You go back to the wizard, who will then, once you've got enough scrolls, he creates the magic spell to send you on to the next level, and so forth. And I'm going to show you some gameplay footage just now, guys. So, that answers a question I had when I first had my Commodore 64. It must have been 1990 or 1991, which was a long time ago. The glory days. So, let's have a go, shall we? Oh. Right, this, guys, is the main hub. This is where there was this. You can buy all your power-ups in here. I can't remember exactly what they are at the moment. I think you would have seen it on screen there now, actually. Right. So as you can see there's a monster flashing in the bottom by there, that's the one we are after. Here we go. So you can defeat monsters along the way for many. And if you collect these hearts along the way you can take them back to the wizard. He will store them up there for you, and you can continue on your quest. Once you've got so many different colour kind of hearts, you get an extra life. So let's go. Let's go into this room by here. This is full of money. If you collect them in order, the flashing purple ones, I think you get a bit more money for them. So we shall try and do that. Ah, oh. left, right, left, right. Da, 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 da. I can't believe I'm still playing this game after all these years. It's just amazing. Right, let's go and find this monster, is it? There he is. So once you kill the flashing monster, you pick up the scroll and you make your way back to the wizard. And you can feel free to kill anything you want on the way. But there is a timer on this game, guys, and I think that goes throughout the entire game. I'm not sure. I've never actually managed to finish this game. Because it does get ridiculously hard. Right, so now he's telling me we got to go find that. So we'll go to the right this time, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's down there. Didn't see him. <laughs> I was looking at my phone then to see if the screen was alright. Right, so now we've got to go find this guy. Oh, he's right by there. It's handy. Come here, I go. There you go. Make sure these guys don't catch me out this time. Ooh, that gives you infinity for a while. But we won't risk it. Oh, no. Right, because I've picked up that heart, we've got to go back and try and get that again. Where is he, though? Right, he might be in a different location now. So we'll keep going. 
Uh, it doesn't look like he's over here. Ah, he is. The, the thing that kills me most of the time on this game is the jumping. Because it's really dodgy to jump. Where is he? Come here, you. Thank you very much. I've right, got quite a bit of money there as well. I might try and spend that now. There you go. Level completed. Quite easy for the first one. Apart from that stupid loss of life. So then this magician guy will send you to the next level. Ooh. Ha. <laughs> there you go. Kids these days won't know what that is about. And guess what, kids? I'm not going to tell you. Go and pick up Commodore 64 and find out. Do you know, um, we had a new colleague start this past week in work. And um, she shocked me when she told me that she had a Commodore 64 and her and her sisters used to play Flimbo's Crest. I was like, oh, what? Really? That's amazing. Right. So as you see, guys, we're on the second stage now. What happened to him? Oh, quite easy. There's our... There you go. Right, we have to go and find this tall green guy now. I think I remember where he is. So this is a fishing... A, fi a fishing? A fishing village. He should be right here. That's him. Yeah, so many great memories of playing this with my mates growing up. We could get this far, but... Oh, this is a bit of a But not really a lot further. I think the... I think round 5 or round 6 is the... Uh, Le my furthest level. Are well, these supposed to be like pterodactyls or something? Oh! Find some Alpha Sen. Alright, so. Oh, there's another green guy. What can we buy here? Oh, so you can actually buy scrolls if you uh, get stuck. Timer. How much is that? Let's go for that one. There you go. Gives us a power up on the gun. Oh, I like how awesome that is. Maybe that's why I've never finished the game. Oh, I'm going to watch out for this fish. Down this bit. Go! Ah, oh, what? I think we'll try and get the scroll instead. There we go. I do love this gun. <gasps> right. Go! Ah, oh, see? It's always the jumping that kills me. We've lost the prop on the gun. That's not cool. Oh. Let's go and find the last beast, I think, for this level. There he is. Oh, I didn't see that. I was sneaky. Please go past. Ah, oh, you joking, man? 
After all these years, you still make the same silly mistakes. Right, that should be this level. Yes. Do you know what, I think I'll only ever finish this game if I cheat one day. Definitely five or six, the level I've got to. I can't remember what the first stage looks like. I have featured this game on my channel before, one of my earliest videos, but I didn't talk a lot about it and I didn't do commentary over it. The good old days. Yep, still not going to tell you kids what all that means. <laughs> oh, ah, this level. This is the alien world. Bum, bum. Now, this, the difficulty on this level does increase now. On this game. Can you go in here? No. Here he is. Do 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 Awesome's up. Was not the rat. Oh no. Oh, he's done there. Where's he gone? Oh, what? There we go. So now we've actually got mini bags on this level instead of just the purple coins. Now sometimes you've got to be careful when you go back into here because as soon as you go out, those little creatures you can see right by there run straight at you. Right, let's go and find this guy. And they're a lot faster, these things. Another one of his secret rooms. See if we can buy that upgrade to the cool gun in a minute, as soon as all these things get out of the way. Go! Right, he's gone. Upgrade to the gun, let's go find the egg. Oh. There it is. This will be my head for a while now, this. Right, we gotta go after a rat. I have no idea where the rat is. Oh, that's handy. Right. 
There we go. They have all completed again. This is going really well. I've only got one knife left, so I'm going to show you guys how far I can get. Da, 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 da. And here we go again. Ugh. Yeah, not a bad little game in all this. Dun, 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 dun. I really do want to finish this game one day though, just to see the ending. I mean, the first game I ever played, you know, it would be awesome to complete it. My gosh. Oh, cool, you still keep your upgrade. Right, let's go to the left. Here it is. Oh, no, come here, come here. No! Oh, that was not cool. There it is. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah. Got him. Alright, oh, gotta find a tree hugger looking thing. <laughs> oh, there's enough upgrade. Will that help? Let's try it. Oh, Jim. Oh, you gotta collect it. You can't shoot it down. Right. I really get this far. So happy with this. Oh, another tree hugger. It's not this guy. Oh, what are you doing? It's a funny looking thing, that, isn't it? Oh, you're joking me. Well, there you go, guys. That is the first video game I've ever played. It is Flimbro's Crest. I hope you enjoyed that. So, oh, put my name in. What I want to know, guys, what is the first video game you ever played? Either let me know in the comments below or do a video response. That would be absolutely cool. And uh, I've been Metropolis. This has been Flimbro's Crest. Thank you for watching. Boom. See you soon.